Hello there, everyone, and welcome back, of course, to Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as a Californian state. I'm your host, Mr. Kato Cassandra Molova. She does not blink. She does not hesitate. Her ranger instincts have made her enter the sort to strike hard, fast, and without mercy. She can see threats before they emerge and can have a battle plan ready before they can strike. So we're losing stability. We have no stability. We're getting weird war support, though, which is pretty nice. But we're at war with the Californian way, and we're going to have a good old time as we already made an instrument, beating the crap out of them. And they're attacking us. We're attacking them. California's on fire. And I hope we can put out this fire before uh, anything really, really bad happens. Uh, help them out here. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I love God. Get rid of them. Um, so we're attacking. We're doing the best we can. I think we'll be okay overall in the end. Um, but uh, at this point, we're going to go... <clears throat> oh, man, my voice is going to crack. Uh, but we're going to go that way and see what we can do. We can go here and make another segment. That would be fantastic. So we're going to attack, 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 because we like to attack. And yeah, we're going to go from there. We're going to go with heavy special forces because when's the last time you actually used good heavy special forces as a California state? It's been a very long time. New Reno's decided to help us out, which is great, great, great. Good, good, good. Uh, you might as well come out here. The faster you can kill off the enemy divisions, the faster you don't have to deal with them, so. But, but we just finished Brave Sons of California, so if you really like to read this one again, please go ahead. And then more attack and defense. A little more population. We need probably more population just in case, because we're attacking quite a bit. Loyalty and patriotism. The loyalty of the legionaries has always impressed me. I've never once seen a single one of them back down or disobey an order. A series of propaganda campaigns will be carried out to raise <clears throat> in the people of California the spirit of loyalty to the homeland, and the need to stand up for it. We lose a little bit of political power, but in the end, I think it's worth it. Um, what else we got here? Anything else we really want? Uh, 100 political power is not bad. Saying a technological excellence. Mm, 35 a week. We'll have to personnel. Morality of our scientists. Humanitarian radicalism. Yeah. Science point isn't bad. What am I getting more science labs though? Um, stimulus and whatnot. Hey, they're dead. Good. Can you go this way? Can you go oh, valley of the names, perhaps? So I'm not worried about this part of the frontier. We're not increasing your power, huh? Contact lost. Not bueno. Soon as we team in magically, we will find them. Yay. Who could have seen that one coming? Me. Yeah, I'm glad we went this route for uh, the NCR, just because NCR is fun. And I like I like the original routes for the NCR, but this is something different and unique, and I I actually thoroughly enjoy the unique things that the devs have created for this mod. Because I play I play Old World Blues almost exclusively on the channel of the Times recording, which is fine with me. I actually really love Old World Blues still. I still love it. This mod is fantastic. It's one of the best mods ever created. Um, but that's just me. That and TNO and even Kazurak's pretty good, but I haven't touched Kazurak in a long time. Help him out. Good, 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 good. We're doing pretty well. I'm, I'm glad I'm ignoring the main front, I guess. Huh. Come on. Good. And gooder. Get gooder. What did I send you guys? Also, I'm waiting not to... I'm, we don't have a general yet for some of these guys because we get bonus to attack every weight and recruit more guys later on. All right, so what, what are the couches like? 366 versus that many. We have definitely more divisions than they do right now, which is great. Still not enough for the front line, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and try to circle them. Loyalty, patriotism. A good soldier is a trained soldier. I've easily, I've seen untrained soldiers enter the Mojave, where they could have easily be killed by stoned uh, fiends or physically superior legionaries, legionaries to our soldiers. But this stops now. All of California's soldiers will undergo enhanced training to fight superior trained enemy forces. Absolutely. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I guess we can do this too then. Help them out. Good. That working's nice. Suspicions again. These guys are gonna die. Yes, good. And if we can get there, that'd be great. Bell Souls joined. We want to finish this war off as fast as possible because I don't want to deal with the Legion while in a war like this. We would lose completely. Which would not be fun. 
what it would be, what it would be. Wow, we're actually doing strangely here. Good. Oh, destroyed. We're doing alright. Not great, but alright. Hmm. You go that way. You're making a circle there. That would be most beneficial. Ah, uh, the bone. Yeah, we had er troubles here earlier. God dang it, guys. I got nothing to do. I don't want to really use you. Where are you then? Oh, you should be able to use it anyways. I know we have no ports, but that's alright. You don't need a port. Good soldiers train soldier and hire Granite Company. Although we've had our issues with some of the Enclave, there's something to admire in their discipline. They keep the dream of America alive for 200 years. Perhaps we can stiffen our backbone as well. Absolutely. Hey, we got the help back. West Tech Schematics? Hey, that could actually be very beneficial for us too. Take a look at that. Oh no, they're trapped. They're encircled. They can't do anything about it. Oh no! Oh yes, thank you, New Reno. Hey, more divisions, nice. Uh, you're gonna keep holding there. Good. Acropolis. California plans. Oh, who could have seen that one coming? Actually, I didn't because I didn't really think about it. But whatever. Looks like these guys really are not ready for a war. Good little pockets. Oh, never mind. So, Redding, you either submit or die. We'll hold here. And you 10 we're gonna hold here. Boop. I thought they'd split up. I thought Hayes would come around sometime and do something here, but I guess not. Boop. You know, prospectors. Plan a couple more buildings here. Find a couple more scientists. Sure. Oh, persecute the anarchists? Minus one for more stability? Why not? Hey, the Boneyard's here too. Great news, good. And we're almost out of time, but whatever. At this point, I do not care. Boneyard. Good. Daglow disabled. In the hub. Very nice. Our grand company and loyal officer promotions. Well, we know some of our officers are critical of our administration. We cannot retire them in our time of need. Instead, we can refuse it or promote them, ensuring only those loyal to the President General will hold important positions in the Army. The President General knows that in war, obedience is more important than genius. Fantastic. Cut of losses. So, how do we get these guys to submit or die? Resistance, tanks, junker troops, knocking everything's door. Yeah. Junker resistance. One of the biggest cities in the wasteland, Junktown relied on its trade with the hub, which took a great hit in the war against the traders. The sharp decline of living standards led to resentment of our rule. When no one dares to openly to oppose our rule, many of our shipments uh, are delayed and sometimes missing outright. As some citizens do not cooperate with the authorities and resist the laws whenever they can, they must be reminded that when we command, they obey. Absolutely. Oh, the garden's in the arena. Nice. State of the economy. Woo! 
So it's tension. Brave Sons of California lose to Dirty. Right. The finest news to print. Ranger Divide sucks. Mojave Campaign. Oh, it's, uh, still Fallout of the Apocalypse, huh? Brotherhood Armor Hegemony, huh? Now, um, we're gonna keep going this way for now and then eventually get the power armor. Bryce Lineholm, huh? Spec Ops attacking defense, huh? Well, eventually it's not really gonna matter. Let's get the infantry for now. Junktown resistance. We rely on this Junktown row of our only supply lines stretching into the Southern Mo California and to the Mojave. Yep. We've been receiving many false intel about raiders blocking the roads, requiring us to reroute our shipments. Some local patriots report that the mayor of Junktown is behind our delayed shipments. While barging in and arresting the mayor without our troops, with our troops is an option, a mutual force with our tanks would convince the mayor into cooperation without escalating the problem. Lock a new focus for a specialized Junker tank. Our troops will handle the situation. So. Hmm. Get the Junker Troop. It's not bad. Junker Tank. Division speed goes up unless it's consumption. You get a Wasteland Tank. You get that anyways, don't you? Do we have this tech as power armor? Vehicles? I mean, you get it anyway, so... Our troops will handle the situation. We'll make the Junk Town an example to anyone who might dare oppose us. Hundreds of troopers will search every house, office, and building to find evidence of the resistance movement and punish the perpetrators. There's nowhere to run when the bear comes knocking. Absolutely. Knocking on Redding's door. The fate of the barons was decided, so it's time to deal with those who sit in their ivory towers overlooking the assistance of Redding. Yeah. Eliminate the barons, ally with the barons. Oh. Deal with the barons. Barons of the NCR are everywhere and nowhere at once. Um, with enough caps to buy anyone they desire, they have people working for the interests in every branch of our administration. Due to the vast knowledge of informants, any move will reach the Barons before its destination. This means whatever course of action we want to take, they will be ready. Just in case. Ally with them. Trade deal opinion goes up. Infrastructure construction speed goes up. Eliminate them. Let's eliminate any threat to us. Heartless and conniving to the bitter end, barons are not the people to be trusted. More order the confiscation of all property belonging to the barons. Our soldiers fail to find any of the barons, with all of them taking their wealth to the north, leading to the collapse of many civilian projects. We are satisfied with the results, however, considering the barons' influence over the Republic is no more. Last trade deal opinion factor. Caps income goes down. Infrastructure construction speed goes down. We get more attack. Butcher of the North. Dealing with the Barons. President General attempts. A restoring order of the Republic have not been well received by everybody. While the average citizen bark is worse than their buy, we cannot say the same for the Barons. As a cabal with a shared interest, they are powerful they have powerful uh, allies or enemies capable of rallying entire mercenary armies for, for or against us. Um, fortunately, they are not entirely opposed to our rule. Uh, but many within the aristocratic elite are sympathetic to letting the luxuries of stagnant democracy go and offering to fund a regime in exchange for less bureaucracy, or in other words, turning a blind eye to their economic activities. Um, of course, we may also wish to destroy the shitty cabal to eliminate any future threat to our rule. Whatever our choice, the window of opportunity is slim. We must act before the barons look for opportunities elsewhere, because they always are. They live to serve a greater good. You can't expect parasites to nourish anything. No, they must burn. They must burn. Boop, boop, eliminate them. 
Gunrunner engineers, military for active construction speed, or study gunrunner schematics. Better production cost is okay. The gunrunner speed is enough, so. Our engineers can't match the ingenuity of the gunrunners. However, we can hire them for our own purposes. Oh. Involving military administration. Specialize in the production of weapons or represent a great boon for war production. Oh, are we at war? Oh. Oh. I see. So, generally, Oliver, you've chosen your route. Interesting. I was not expecting to get backstabbed today. But okay. Victory, you know where to go. We were going to come back for Redam no matter what, but alright. Commando. Good. Eventually they're going to convert these over to these guys. I'll get to the very least if I can. No. They declare war on both of us. Interesting. Interesting choice. It's the best way for the division to die, but okay. Complicated circuitry is good. Good, good, good. door. The fate of the Beards was decided, so it's time to deal with those who sit in their ivory towers overlooking the citizenry of Redding. Not Reddit, but Redding. They have quite a bit of manpower. Quite a few units. Well, how long are they going to keep it? Thunder, Lightning, Cassandra, more we've heard from the 80s. Thunderbirds, one of the most popular wars, challenged leader to a dueling. Poetry in battle and race. It appears he intends to take the peoples back to Sac City and drive through our lands to do so. We will laugh at the pretensions, but many doubt the last time they came through when the word comes that he's traversing the waste to find weapons to aid his bloody drive. California State stands firm. Less stability, more war support? Pretty normal. And off the roads, down through the high beams, God cursed Thunderbird came greedily roaring. Interesting. Sure, Eagle Rock. Why not? Throw you in the mix. And prisoner responsibilities. Oh, helps out. We'll take gunrunner facilities. Gunrunners have cooperated with us for a long time, supplying us with the best weapons found in the wasteland. Surely they wouldn't refuse a request for the least of a few of their facilities for the war effort. Of course not. I want air superiority. We need air superiority. Good, good, good. A thousand, fifteen hundred versus their thousand. We've lost more than they've lost. But can they keep up with the losses? No. Generally, Oliver's proven to be a traitor. Capture, that's not good. Expand to prisoner responsibilities. The NCR once had many rules and regulations regarding the use of prisoners. But the Republic at stake, we can extend the responsibilities of our prisoners from menial infrastructure work to women's manufacturing. Hopefully, they won't have any ideas. Hopefully. Right here, we got some next to I 
Oh, good, we're expanding in here too. Good, 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 good. Hello, that's not good. Well, in Reno. Guys, I was leaving, of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Different wars something I would like to avoid. Because we are by far absolutely not ready for this. tactics. Second battle for Hoover Dam? Crap. Everyone knew the day would come. Once more the Legion assaults a dam, and once more the NCR seeks a repel. Uh, they're so with whatever. It means you can't. Unlike the first time, however, neither Oliver nor the Malpass like it stands alone. The Legion of Soul now brings with it the full weight of the Legion's military industry. Similarly, the NCR itself is mustering troops to march into the Mojave and reinforce the woefully outnumbered Mojave expedition. Will the NCR manage to mobilize before the forces are overwhelmed, or will the full weight of the Legion crush the forces of liberty that dare oppose them? The Mojave expedition will not stand alone. Yes, it will. They want to kill us off, too. How dare they? So, in a weird twist of fate, we have them to help us out. Now we gotta get ready for this. You're defending, you're defending. I need at least a few guys here to help defend here too. The rest of these guys are gonna have to help me defend against everything else here. Which is terrible. I don't have enough soldiers for this, so... Actually, you know what? Just pop them out. If you get up to 8, it's fine. Because I'm going to leave the Special Forces here to do this. I need you to help me out and garrison a lot of places. I'm gonna record this, huh? New procurement system. For the NCR's industrial sector having collapsed following the onset of the Civil War, it's no wonder that a brave Californian boys can barely get their hands on weaponry that doesn't spontaneously combust. As much as this is as well, we must now only procure arms that are both serviceable and compatible with the logistical requirements. Our troops might not like being forced to use specific weapons, but that'll make our warring efforts significantly more affordable. This looks so bad. I don't have enough divisions. Oh, well, why did you do that for that? 
Spread out, you gosh darn ding dongs. Great race. This might be enough to hold, probably not. Um, I'll take some other one down there. Three is fine. You only need two for this one. Uh, the origins there. No more radios. Fire, fire teams too, huh? That makes sense. these guys for oh they're not that strong uh, we should be able to push into there and do okay so we're gonna save real quick because I'm sure as soon as I go to war the Legion wants to go to war with me the last tails might want to go to war as well we'll see Should be able to push across here, though, at the very least. Ryan, uh, that must be different. Basic laser. Too bad of a war, but you never know. Good, we're off up. Good stuff. So we gotta wait for all this stuff, which is fine. Um, standard arms were superb people. The military standard issue service rifles a testament to our industrial prowess as we're able to replicate a pre-war design with a scrap and resources around the waist. However, our rifle parts production lines are scattered and disparate. Centralizing production plants will ensure that we have minimal shortages of parts to produce as many weapons as possible. They're all one solid front line now. Good. Forever make, isn't it? Wow. We're doing quite well over here for now. Over here, not as much. We'll get in there. They didn't annex each other yet. Let's see. Mossman's army. We definitely don't do Mossman. We got rid of them last time. 20 more special forces cap would be nice, but still. Mechanized bull. Yes. Why should the Brother and the Enclave be the only groups to use power armor? The NCR is hundreds of thousands of citizens. The West Coast only at universities. And the drive and determination to protect its people. It may annoy Mari Brawantoni to see us explore their secrets, but I didn't vote for them. Oh, yes. Absolutely. War hero, tactician, all American. Do you want to wait and see? Well, it does not exist. Well, he backstabbed us, so. Major Abbott, which probably won't go. Power armor hardness, so. As a protege of the hero of the Mojave, Oliver has a great amount of political clout and prestige behind him. But his cautious tactics and reliance on heavy troopers leave something to be desired. 
in the eyes of many company men. You know what? Screw it, we're gonna get him anyways. You're a good enemy, backstabber, but still. Well, some might say the Republican or Royal already have too many ideas. Eureka's instructors could be valuable. Excellent. Different ideas in this economy? Yeah, I'll try it one time. We're slowly getting there. Come on. Yes. Good. Good. Just go this way, it's fine. Good. The scavenge old base. Is the number of pre-war armored bases representing a veritable gold mine of military wonders that we cannot dream of ever fully exhausting. Only by meticulously picking apart these caches will we be able to finally unlock the secrets of the old world's innumerable wonder weapons. Nice. New researcher can prove power armor. Ooh. Substantial lost cells were stagnant over there, but whatever. This is good. Sex City good. Nice. Now 14 more divisions, nice, good stuff. Every rifle for the front. Happy January, everybody. 2280, huh? God, the NCR has exploded and destroyed and vanquished and exploded and whatnot. We can go for the VPs. Should not have rebelled against the Californian way. Oh, we got him. Fantastic. Glad we didn't kill off any of our old ships, too. So now we're ready for the war against the Legion. Take up New Vegas too eventually as well. But with all that done, scavenge old bases, religious teachings wouldn't be bad, but more victorious. President General stands victorious against all who dared to refuse their benevolent rule. All hail the second mother of the, of the Republic. All hail President General Moore. Absolutely. Any more guns? Any more fire teams? We'll get there eventually though. I do that. Sweet success. Did you hear that we stopped the bullet at the Hoover Dam? Of course you heard. 
Now let's finish your job providing further aid to the territories and make clear who actually runs the West. The shining city of the Waste will begin making the Mojave Line via our decisions connecting Baker to Camp McCarran, allowing rapid transport of our troops into New Vegas. The West and shining city of New Vegas now lies within our grasp. We only have to break a few treaties and assume be ours. Light them up. Reach out to Benny. Tolerate New Vegas and New Vegas. thing at a time. Operation Black Cobra. The Roaring Economy. Ooh, another research slot. Enemy in the East. Enemies of the State. Replace Fathers of the Apocalypse with the Fathers of the Apocalypse Rejected. Walled Settlement in the Boneyard. Local Vampire. Old World City Type. Death Valley and all those others. Not a court California Way. Strong over the Anarchist Rebellion, Boneyard is a source of shame for the Republic. People of the city still refuse to accept their ideals and hold traitors in high regard. From now on, anyone thought of harboring any anarchistic sentiment will be immediately dealt with. One way or another, Boneyard will yield. Mm, I want to wait to do that one. I mean, the East. Uh, how about Operation Black Cobra? Black Cobra lies in the heart of our California. A Cobra that should have been dealt with a long time ago. Better late than never, it's time to destroy this parasite. There are only four divisions of special forces right now. So I have those guys, two of them, huh? The 80s, eh? City of the Wastes, Gunrunner Deal. Oh, the Brothers' teachings. While the Brother of Steel's numbers dwarf in comparison to us, there's no denying that their military technology is superior. No doubt as a result of their origins in the Creed. Reverse engineering Brother Armor from our battle at Helios 1 provides invaluable insight into how to produce their own power armor and in turn match their might. Are we still losing weekly stability? No, we're not. Oh, well, at least we shouldn't be. Weekly change goes up by point, plus point 0.1. Okay, so increase our political power, persecute the anarchists. Uh-huh. 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 Go to the next turbine. Good. I won't kill off the Legion first before I kill anybody else off. Because they have a chance to come and kill us too. Actually, you guys can come over here too, maybe. Vegas, check for spies. Masters of our faith, the brother is in no position to bully us around. They are a dying tribe, like so many others who stand in their way of life, liberty, and the pursuit of prosperity. And they, they believe they can tell us what technologies are and are not fit for the wasteland. We can remind them why they are the masters, why we are the masters of California, not they. Good. Ah, so we got rid of all this bastion democracy. Well, liaison. Old world blues. I don't want to hear political power anymore. Oscar Stone. Growing up, I saw all sorts of tales on my family projector. Every man, woman, and child deserves that experience. A critically acclaimed filmmaker with over 30 years of experience, Stone's proposal to freely offer firms or films in newly joined territories of the Republic. It's his belief that entertainment can bind people together better than a military. Great resistance, damage to garrisons. I like the less damage to garrison. That's good. 15 more divisions, huh? 
You know, I'm going to load them up here first for now. Infantry drills. As odd as it may seem, one of the first things the Big Jim elected to do after being appointed as leader of the NCR's military was to reinvent the wheel when it came to their incredibly rudimentary infantry drills. The integration of simple squad tactics and more complicated marksmanship and urban assault tactics should have been, had a marked improvement on the average soldier in the NCR's military. Good. Great forces, good, good, good. Better recon. That's not good. Gotta bust him out. I was a little surprised that they have not attacked us. So in all sudden, honestly, they should have attacked us a little bit earlier. Can we actually hold out against them? That guy should be pretty well dug in, but you never know. Enemy in the east. Legionary phys superior physicality makes them extremely dangerous up close. So all soldiers have been instructed to take them down in range if possible, gearing up for war. Legion is not satisfied with Vegas. Where is all this coming from? Oh, this side. He'll come for us next, how fortunate even the Van Grass want no part in the Legion's Empire. And Mons across the Colorado. Oh, we can do this one too. Uh, grave foe is rising across the Colorado led by the wannabe dictator in cosplay. Sure, he may sound ridiculous, but the threat he poses to the Republic is very real. If we can't prepare ourselves, we'll sure to be swept away by the coming tide. Catch him on the back foot. We all know the Legion will come, but if we also expect them to be the aggressors, maybe, just maybe, if we strike first, we can retain a competitive advantage for the Republic. Good. True culprit of the chaos. Uh, the roaring economy. Our long years of suffering and disunity are over. And California is finally united under the Cassandra Moore. The bear roars once more. Which would be great. Well, obviously, we can't do this one, but California first and foremost. Oh, just thought World Cup 7 was way down. The failure of the NCR was a clear sign to me that the world is no longer deserving of the co uh, coddling, tax hungry masses. We need an iron fist to set things right. My fist may not be made of iron, but the glove it wears certainly is. The bull of the mints. Oh. The Legion was only the power that could rival and shatter the Republic, despite their defeat. Many legionaries still oppose their rule and conduct clandestine activities in newly conquered territories. Grab the bull by the horn. Oh. California's prosperity. Oops. Well, California is a progress. Hey, social forms. Hmm. I've been a soldier for the NCR for too long. I could plan an expert uh, take down of a militant group in 15 minutes, but I have no clue how a dollar works or what a bank truly does. That said, the recent recent return of the mayor of Daglo, with his old world obsessions, may just be what we needed. California prosperity. No checks and balances with a modern state. Way more political power. Less population, though. Huh. I don't know how he did it, but the TCR is experiencing a form of economic miracle not seen since the brother first began by stealing our gold reserves. I must thank Hayes with a private dinner, courtesy of the humble ta TCR taxpayer. I may rule with an iron fist, but the people have more silver and gold in their pockets than ever. March, military march. The marching drills of the Big Jim have been met with a resounding frustration from the average soldier who loathes the idea of marching for days on end and even if after one has met the physical requirements. The point of these marches are exercises to increase the overall mobility of infantry as a unit rather than individuals. The standardization of mobility and increased knowledge on foot soldiers is a general boom. The Big Jim Draft. Ooh. The Big Jim Draft is something few people actually expected to see as many of the NCR feel that the conscription is one of the leading issues in relation to the quality of the NCR's military forces. Yet, as Jim's doctrine stresses the importance of overwhelming numbers of high-quality infantry, they need unless more and more men and women, willing or otherwise, as a necessity, and combined arms. Ooh. The NCR's victory will not just be based on the heroism of its soldiers, it'll be based on its tactics and training and the ability to leverage its industrial superiority in war. Well, this eventually did happen, but the Legion is split up into the different legions. Fantastic. It's not fair that I can't just go to go war with them, but we're going to go ahead and try to go in as hard and as fast as possible here, because... If your enemy's making mistakes, you might as well exploit it to the maximum benefit. We'll take whatever we can and then continue to try to kill them off as well. I'm gonna need you to help out here too. That would be great. 
away. Good. Kill them off as much as you possibly can. Boop. Boop. Very good. Okay, so clear one of the Thunderbirds. We've got General Oliver here. Um, Cultural Advisor, Overall Blues. I really don't want to choose that person yet. Friendly Lender. Uh, no. Oh, very nice. Big Jim Draft. Well, let's see who actually ends up there. Um, I guess after this, we'll go to War of the Brotherhood. You might as well, you know. Corruption? Just lose a bit of a power. We'll rule out the injustice. It's fine. Nice. Hop out here, and they're going to die. Everyone all together, together for victory. If you've ever heard that one before. Team training, it's fine. Boop, boop. Eventually. Invade Kaiser's heirs. Oh yeah. All of them. Oh, what'd you look at this? Ascend technological excellence. We'll get the 30 labs back. Sure. Last few times we'll actually do it like this. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Victim wrapped. I want to go ahead. As much as I want to do combine our arms, we're going to come back down here and do this one. Check for spies. That's fine. Still preparing all that stuff. It's fine. Pulse code modifications, good. Good. Very nice. Mobile Recon Core. Don't really need that one too much, but whatever. Flagstaff is gonna fall. Good stuff. Nope. Because you're going to die soon anyways. Beautiful. Ball flag staff. How did Legion have this many slaves? Let's risk it. Let's kill them all off. Come to Bajo all the way down here. This may be one of the easiest times we'll ever take out the Legion. Nice. Oh, they're actually using Fat Man's. Look at that. Wow. Sure, if this one that's fine. Why not? There's been quite a bit of breakthrough. Worse than the defense, huh? Now, that's not good for us over here. economy. That's what we like to see. Good. California first and foremost. Nice. 
just a giant freaking mess. This focus on relays is Legion for the most part first. And then Abajo would be good to get too. Yeah, just go in. You might just be able to capitulate him, maybe? That might be nice. Perhaps. You don't have to if you don't want, but I recommend it to save the lives of our soldiers and whatnot. Especially when our guys seem all extremely exhausted and whatnot. From all the constant fighting around here. Go here. Good. Oh, come on. Bro. Hey, I got North Phoenix, so that's good. Good and integrated support. Yeah. Army breakthrough is nice. Special forces capacity, more recovery rate. Yeah, that was one. Oh, do we lose a division here? You god dang pieces of garbage. Radar, great. Thank you. Cycling. This one. Uh, unfinished business. Well, we can read that one next time. More to it now. Hayes is enlightening me on a very troubling prospect. With the records found from the cursed Lost Hills Brotherhood, we discovered the whereabouts of the Mojave Brotherhood. Now, since Operation Summers has a day gone by that I don't wish to rid the world of them. But with the NTCR's chemical core concocted a little surprise for them, I may get a good night's sleep after all. That might be lost my due for this episode. Smoke grenades, good. I get nothing out of this? Are you freaking kidding me? Bro. No. Bears indigestion. Although the NCRs prevail over the Legion and not face a new problem, what do they do the new far flung Dominion? Arizona, New Mexico, and the lands beyond were never unified before the Legion. Uh, is the NCR going to administer this vast empire? Who can blame the wilderness so immense? I shouldn't have had second thoughts. Oh god. And the Dussel's downfall. That's good to see at least. So it starts at 60. Holy shnikes. It starts really at 100. My god. Well. So be it. This is just that section and not another section here too. Take 40 cases, that'd be good. That'd be nice. No more hiding, truck in position. 
A voice reported from the radio outside a Hidden Valley. More approached. Clad in a modified riot gear as most of the soldiers were. She was about to let the brothers slip through her grasp. Paige was busy managing Rat Boy's unorthodox methods back in the NCR, so it was only more in a group of exiles who were monitoring the site. More mentally kicked herself for not knowing of this location, as well as the continuing failure to the old NCR government that allowed for these things to happen, but no more. Under her third California Republic, which had already been dealing with lost tales, the brother would be taken out. Due to Hayes' fierce passion for the old world, he had been the one to alert more to where the Hidden Valley was, and how it stayed hidden for so long. It turned out the pre-war records obtained from captured Brother Holodisks revealed the existence of the Dervish camouflage system, which Brother had been using on full blast for the past 10 years. But a simple manufactured sandstorm could only last for so long. Hayes had calculated the exact date of the system's failure, ensuring that the TCR would have no problems surrounding all possible exits and entrances into the bunker hub. Hayes' calculations were not wrong. As soon as more arrived, uh, on a hot afternoon, the sandstorms previously masking the location suddenly began to lessen in ferocity until they died down to nothing more than a hollow echo of what was once a violent sea of sand. Moore did not want to take any chances with the Brotherhood, though, and had extra precautions to ensure their death, although in person it was at least assured that all of them would no longer be a problem. Moore placed her fingers on the riot comm piece, released a neurotoxin. The tank truck brought from California had been pumped full of a combination of toxins from across California and the Mojave. Um, and from the venom of a night stalker in Cazador to the toxic blood of the Wanamingo, the mix ensured that not even power armor filters was still their imminent demise. Every last Mojave chapter room that had their life drained for them, at last, the Mojave was free. Great! Ooh, Hidden Valley becomes Ghost Valley. Well, that's kind of cool. I tell a lot of ghost stories right now. But hey, if you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue expanding California to be the dominant power across the known world. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.